guys, this is Kenjido and welcome to another MakeShot Pro video. Today I'm just going to do a commentary of a piece that I did that was kind of an experimentation of creating sort of like a coloring book drawing, but uh, then coloring it in with art media brushes, but all of this starting with a photograph. So let's get to it. So to start off, I have this image of this boy. And what I want to do is I want to try to first convert it into an image that looks more like a black and white uh, coloring book drawing. So to do that, I'm going to use the uh, threshold tool under the brightness and contrast. And what I found is this tool works really well, except it, it usually can't give you what you need all in one pass. So what you'll see is I'll use the threshold on a duplicated layer and then I'll get it pretty good for most of the image but then there's some parts of the image that are a little bit darker than I'd like it to be so then what I'll do is I'll make another layer and I'll apply a threshold but I'll change the value in such a way that the like what would be the left side of his face is a little bit brighter it's not quite as dark and then I'm gonna blend those two layers together using the eraser tool so that I can get a single black and white image that has the right level of contrast. Note that you can left click when you're erasing, but you can also right click to unerase. That way you have full control if you kind of overdo it in some areas to back it off. So now that I have my threshold layer kind of where I want it to be, I'm gonna do a copy merged and then paste it as a new image. And then from here, I'm going to add an art media layer because this is where I'm going to want to do um, some of my painting. And in a way, sort of like cheating in terms of masking, when you have a black and white image like this, you can convert the black and white image to the blend layer multiply and then everything that's in the white region is going to show through. So then in my art media layer underneath, I can simply paint in there and it will only show in the areas that are white. It'll naturally be masked by the black. And in this case, the art media brush that I'm using is the watercolor one. And so from here on out, I don't have a whole lot of um, explanation. This is really just the technique of how you can sort of take a portrait image and very simply um, you know, allow for a situation where you can creatively just add abstract color. Um, so I'm just gonna let the rest of this video run and it's just going to be sped up of me just randomly picking colors and trying to paint um, you know, this boy in, artistic, in an artistic way. I'm, I'm definitely not a very good painting kind of person, so I think the end result ends up being okay, but ultimately you get the idea of what this technique is trying to show. So once again, I have a thing with eyes and wanting them to really stand out. So you can see even here, I'm um, putting a little bit of very specific attention in that area. And then near the end here, um, I just wanted to bump up the color a little bit. I felt like the art media brushes kind of left things fairly muted. So simply just adding a adjustment layer that's hue, saturation, and lightness, and just increasing the saturation. And that's it. So this was just a commentary. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Um, obviously you can do a lot more um, artistic things with that sort of lower layer, whether it's using art media or using you know, stamped paint brushes or whatnot, but um, I'll leave that creative aspect to you. And that's it for me. If you have any questions or would like to suggest content, feel free to leave a comment. And if you'd like to get updates of new content, feel free to subscribe. And if you'd like to support me and the channel, please check out my Patreon page on the link shown on the TV, and I'll see you guys next time.